Hello, this is Team Orco. My name is Larry Gunter. My name is Denitrian Robinson. I'm Edward Sitter. Uh, I'm Andrew McCaffrey. And I'm Josh Ariba. Orco is an easy-to-use finance app. It allows users to keep track of transactions and keep up to date with the stock market and the latest financial news. Users can manage their expenses and stay organized. The problem with an economically advancing society is that people will get lost fast. The advancements of technology are making it harder and harder for individuals to keep up with the pace of the financial world. Our app is meant to keep users informed about the world they live in, help them stay on top of where their money is going, as well as giving them the opportunity to look at stocks. Some people use tech to keep track of their finances, while others may keep track of basic expenses in a physical ledger, a spreadsheet, or may pay minimal attention to their finances overall. There are also cases where individuals keep different financial logs in different mediums, such as grocery expenses on a notepad and income information in Excel. We had a few high-level goals for the app. We wanted to make the app simple and easy to use in an effort to allow as many types of users to be able to use it. This includes students trying to understand the financial world, those working on improving their financial lives, and the already affluent looking for something simple. We also wanted to get rid of some of the hassles of bookkeeping. One example case would be the one just mentioned, where someone would use a physical ledger and spreadsheet concurrently. We do this by allowing the user to track their expenses and get up-to-date financial news, track the performance of stocks in their portfolio or the ones they just want to follow, all in one place. The first technology we used in this was React Native. React Native is an open source hybrid JavaScript framework used to develop mobile apps by Facebook. Some of the perks of using React Native are code reusability, it's open source, it has a large community, and live reloading. Because it's a hybrid framework, we would use it to develop an Android app, but because of this, we could also use it to port, uh, port the app to iOS in the future. Another feature of React Native that was very helpful was Use Effect. This allowed us to keep track of any changes made to the data in real time. Um, this was especially useful for cases like editing the user's transactions and adding stocks to their favorites, since it automatically updates the rendered data when changed. Dimitri Robinson. Uh, the second technology that we use is the Google Firebase. This is a real-time database and authentication system. Using this, we were able to create Firebase documents, which saves the user's account data, like their name, age, address, and phone number, allowing users to make accounts. The Firestore database also lets us save the user-created data, such as their transaction history, favorite stocks, etc. We highly recommend this to other people making apps because of just how easy it is to use and integrate. The third technology that we use is just in detox for testing. The documentation for these two is not uh, straightforward, which made us so that we ran into some errors, but in the end, it does work well for testing. Alpha Advantage API is the next technology that we used. This allows for gathering real-time stock data. We were then able to use plot.ly to turn this data into nice graphs, letting users keep uh, track of the stock data in an easy-to-understand way. The final technology we used is the News API. This searches the entire world for news. And because of these strong filters, we were able to filter it down just to financial news for our purposes. It was easy to use, easy to implement, and as long as you're using it for development purposes, it is completely free. All right, um, I'm Edward Sitter, and I will be starting off the demo. So here in the emulator, you can see that um, this is our app, um, and I'm going to log in right now to a, sorry, um, going to log into a sample account that we've created to um, for the demo. So firstly on the home screen you can see we have these buttons to navigate to the different screens of the app uh, and we also have a bottom tab navigator to display some icons for the various screens of the app uh, and allow for easy navigation between uh, our app 
screens and components. So the first part of the app that we'll look at is the new screen. This uh, screen uses the news API I described earlier to get uh, basically little thumbnails for recent financial news that might be relevant to the, the user uh, financial the user's financial wishes. So you, you can click on a on one of these links and it will direct you to Google and you can get the article in full. So going back now to the app, we will next move on to the to the dashboard screen. This is the screen that the user will be shown their transactions that they have entered into the app. Uh, here you can see we, we have two sample transactions that we've already entered into this app. The transactions are organized by date in descending order. As you can see, the most recent date is uh, at the top. Um, yeah, we, we keep track of the category, the amount, the date, as well as a description of each transaction. Going to the finances screen, this is where users will be entering their transactions. So I will just enter a sample transaction right now to demonstrate. Um, the data doesn't really matter for this, um, as it is just for demonstration purposes. So I will just enter in some sample data uh, from 4.25.2022 test demo, $4.00. Uh, and transportation category, we can enter that transaction and we will see that it has successfully been recorded in the dashboard screen. Uh, from this dashboard screen, we can easily delete uh, one of the added transactions. Or you can edit one of the transactions by changing the date, the description. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Or the amount, changing it from like six to five dollars. Even the category, but, um, From the dashboard screen, we can easily go to the uh, stock screen. Uh, here you can search up one of the stocks such as MSFT. You can see the, uh, the um, graph of the stock and you can add it to the your favorites. Um, you can Go from here and show all of your favorites by just clicking the show favorites. Uh, on this, you can delete one of your favorites if you don't want to have it in there anymore. Or you can view the price of one of the stocks. Um, from here, uh, we can go to the profile screen. We can update our name to uh, my name, Andrew. <laughs> uh, update the phone number to some random numbers like 456. Uh, the address to any uh, random address. Um, uh, you can also either delete your account or sign out from here. Uh, yeah, so that's been the demo uh, of our app. And thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you guys you. very much. <laughs>